this is Ria. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ria Super Mama. In this video, I am so excited to show you the new Jujube Chromatics 3.0 line. There are three new colorways in this line that we'll be releasing on January 19, 2020. Uh, there is water. It is this gorgeous light turquoise uh, colorway. I have it here in a BFF. We also have pebble. It is in a light gray color. And we also have linen. So linen is a light cream color, off-white color. So uh, I will show you each of the features of the bags, the lining on the inside, the lining compared to previous chromatics 1.0 and 2.0. And uh, many questions have come up on uh, the Jujube community page and uh, the PL chat. How blue is the blue on water? How gray is the gray on pebble? And um, how off-white is the off-white on uh, linen? Oh, and we also have, the uh, Jujubee will also be launching their new woven strap in the Chromatics 3.0 colors. They coordinate so well with the three colorways and they also have this new design with uh, these new swivel clips. So um, I will also compare to the previous uh, woven straps as well. So let's start. So first I will show you the BFF in water. Uh, the color of water is a light turquoise. Uh, with previous chromatics releases, the colors, they change in different lighting, time of day, type of camera used. Um, how warm is the light from the sun and things like that. So uh, sometimes it looks greenish, but it is a blue. You know, it's a light turquoise. So turquoise has some green, but it, it's, it is mostly blue. So here's a little close up of the bag. Again, this is the BFF in water from the Chromatics 3.0 line. The fabric is uh, the same as the previous releases. They're soft, they have a, a light texture. Uh, the hardware is also this new rose gold hardware of Jujube. Uh, on the BFF, there are metal zippers. Uh, here it is, I will unzip and I will zip. So they are pretty smooth. They are pretty smooth. I've never really had big issues with the metal zippers. I kind of like how they look because they add bling and style to the bag. Um, so, right now, this BFF uh, is completely empty. Well, the straps are inside, but there is nothing inside. Uh, because of the design of the BFF, it's structured. So, even if the chromatics material is soft, it doesn't, you know, flop down. So, it is completely empty and it stands up on its own. So, the BFF also comes with a memory foam change pad. It comes with a memory foam change bag. Here is the lining. It is a golden champagne lining. Uh, it is uh, different from the previous uh, 1.0 and 3.0 lining. I'll show you that later. Let's put this to the side first. So there's a back change pad pocket here. These D-rings are for the backpack straps. I'll show you in a bit. Uh, these D-rings are for the messenger strap. So there is the BFF. Uh, it stands up on its own, like I said, even if the material is soft and slouchier than uh, the regular uh, laminated jujube fabric. So let's see. So here there's a mommy pocket. Let's open it up. The layout is the same. Uh, there is a sunglass pocket, um, two, two pockets over here, and then a zippered uh, accessory, a small accessory pocket over here. There is the lining. Hold on, let me show you. This is the lining of Chromatics 1.0. This is in olive. Here, let me show you on the change pad. So the lining on Chromatics 1.0 and 2.0 are similar. They are both champagne. Um, Chromatics uh, 3.0 has a more golden hue. So you can see right here, you can really tell the difference of the lining. It's, it's, it's really pretty, the, the new golden lining. 
Love it. So uh, that is the lining, the difference of the lining. So here's the mommy pocket. So see how it's like the fabric is slouchier than the regular Jujube fabric? Nice and slouchy, but like I said, because of the design and the structure of the BFF, even if the fabric is softer, it stands up on its own empty. So when you, when you order the BFF bag, it's new and packaged, the straps will be inside like this. So it comes with backpack straps. It comes with backpack strap and it also comes with a adjustable messenger strap. So if you're not familiar with the backpack straps of Jujube for the BFF, they are curved like this. So, so see how this ones are curved this way? So that's not the right way to put the backpack straps on. They had to be like this. So the curve has to be this way and that way. So let's see. I'll attach it to the back. This way, the backpack straps will go over your shoulder like this. Because if you attach it like this, they might not <laughs> hook onto uh, the shoulders over here. So you have to attach it like this. So just in case you do not um, know that, so that's the right way to attach the BFF straps. So here it is. I got the straps on. So the Juju the Juju B BFF is a convertible carry uh, diaper bag. You can carry it backpack style like this. You can also carry it by the grab handle like this up here. And then uh, you can also attach this uh, messenger strap over here. So sometimes I just leave it attached so that if I just want to lift the bag up and put it over my shoulder, I have the messenger strap attached to uh, the bag. So uh, sometimes I put it away. So it really depends. I also like carrying the BFF messenger style. So it really depends on my needs for a day. If I need to be hands-free, I wear it backpack style. If I just want to carry it, um, you know, from the car to the stroller or the car to the inside, then I use just use the, the messenger strap. Sometimes I even use the messenger strap to attach to the stroller. So it really depends. And I love this grab handle up here so that it's easy to grab and go from the car. If I just need to, you know, grab it, put it in the, in the uh, shopping basket or things like that. So... Anyway, let's go back now to the main compartment. So here, see, I am not touching the bag. It is standing on its own. It's completely empty. Here's a side view of the BFF. Over here, this is the main compartment. Um, there was a question in the community, have I seen any changes? And I have not noticed any changes on the interior of the BFF um, in chromatics. So it still has these two uh, plastic window pockets. It can fit uh, coin purses, a uh, pack of tissues, small items. Um, these are actually picture pockets. So you can put a picture of your baby or your family over here. Uh, there are also uh, two small accessory pockets over here in the back. You could put small items there. And then there's also these um, one, two, three, four pockets inside that uh, helps you, uh, helps keep your stuff organized in the bag. And there's also this uh, long zipper pocket over here that is often overlooked. Sometimes I put the messenger strap in here so that it's out of the way. You can also put like maybe a pouch for restaurant needs that uh, basically just in case items that you need to just keep out of the way. Um, from the rest of the items in the bag that uh, you will be needing more often. So it's kind of like an out-of-the-way pocket. So it's often overlooked because it's like over here. Um, I just wanted to show you that I can fit the messenger strap in there. Sometimes that's where I keep the messenger strap as a uh, just-in-case. So here it is. Let me fold off the messenger strap. And... It fits nicely in there. So sometimes that's where I keep the messenger strap of the BFF. And um, there, that's basically it. Uh, there is, There are also two 
elasticized um, bottle pockets uh, on both sides of the BFF. They are nice and stretchy. I've always been able to fit uh, large water bottles in uh, those pockets. So um, also there is a tech pocket over here. Let me grab my phone. I have a large uh, Samsung Galaxy Note phone with a other box case. And uh, so this pocket is called a tech pocket. It is black because this is a felt lining. So this felt lining is like soft. It's kind of like the type used for um, uh, glass for you know glasses uh, cases and like that. So if you put your phone or electronics or camera in there, it will be protected from scratches. So here, look, my phone disappeared. The pocket is deep enough to fit a large phone, and I'm able to zip it closed. So. Easy PC, no problem. So there's my large phone. It fits. And uh, those are basically the features of a BFF uh, diaper bag from Juju B. Now for the big question, how blue is the blue on the water color of uh, the Chromatics 3.0 line? Um, there have been people saying it looks turquoise, aquamarine, how does it compare to Tiffany blue, uh, is it mint? Um, so I have a couple of uh, Jujube uh, set pieces and uh, styles here that have different colors and maybe it would give you a better idea on the blue color on uh, water. So first, uh, I think of all my uh, Jujube uh, items and and prints, the closest, the closest color to the blue on water, uh, Chromatics 3.0 is the Tokidoki uh, Jujube uh, collab uh, Unikiki 2.0. So Unikiki 2.0 is blue. It is light turquoise. This is the closest print with the colors that are closest to water. So I just wanted to show that to give you an idea. So it is, it is blue, it is not mint. Uh, it is clearly blue, but it has a slight green uh, tone. That's why, you know, that, that's turquoise. Turquoise is uh, blue with a little green. So this is a light turquoise color. And if you compare it to, um, so I have here a cut up shop uh, Unikiki 2.0 uh, B Light. It was made with uh, Donatella Sweet Shop lining that is in mint. So here it is, the Donatella Sweet Shop lining compared to uh, water. So you can see this is mint. So this is more minty and this is more light turquoise. I also have here a a Tiffany box. I have a Tiffany box. So here is a Tiffany blue. So it is darker. So the co I mean the the color is similar, but the Tiffany blue is deeper. Water is more of like I said, it's more of a light turquoise. So this is water compared to Tiffany blue. Okay. So that is a, I think that's a great comparison. Uh, let me see. I also have, so here is Hello Kitty Kimono. The colors coordinate well. Hello Kitty Kimono has a very similar lining color. So it has like a minty lining color. So just to, you know, just as another comparison. So the, so Hello Kitty Kimono is like a minty lining. So, so see here, uh, water has more blue than Hello Kitty Kimono's mint. You know, it's a little lighter. So here it is next to Teal Lagoon that is teal. That's the color difference. And then this is Toki Pops that is more like uh, powder blue or baby blue. So you can see there is the difference in the blue color. This is uh, Party in the Sky. It looks really cute with water. Uh, I also have here, let's do Hello Kitty. 
Hello Sanrio Sweets. Super cute. Here is Lucky Stars. So it's more, the zippers are more teal uh, compared to the light turquoise. And then um, here is uh, Donatella Sweet Shop. I only have it in a Be Rich wallet. And then here is Kaiju City. So as you can see, it is more teal than uh, water. And then here is, um, here is Siamo. The blue is more blue. And then this is, again, light turquoise. So um, there was another question. Let's do some florals. So this is Black and Bloom. The blues on the leaves of Black and Bloom are very close to uh, the light turquoise of water. Uh, I also have here Black Diamond that have these um, also uh, turquoise, like light turquoise colors. They're very close to the color of water. And uh, this is Enchanted Garden. So... It coordinates well with water, but the blues are not an exact match. They're more they're more green. So well the blues are more baby blue and then these leaves and stems they're more greenish color, I think. Uh yeah, they're more greenish color. But they do coordinate well as well. It it really goes well with pretty much um any of the black and white jujube uh prints. Uh, here is the first lady So it looks good. I mean the hardware is not a match, but um, These colors are solid and they'll go with pretty much any print So here is Queen Bee looks nice. Also, this is Black magic. Oh before I forget here is forget-me-not. I think the the leaves, the lighter colored leaves on Forget Me Not look really good with um, with water. And look at it with teal. Very nice. So there. So, oh, also here is Rose Garden. I know there was a question on how does Rose Garden look with the different colors. So I think it coordinates very well as well. So there. Oh, also one more I wanted to show you. Uh, this is the new... Uh, Tokidoki Jujube collaboration print that will be released this month as well. I will do a separate video on it. Here is Kawaii Carnival. Isn't the colors, aren't the colors gorgeous? Oh my. So I'll do a separate video on this one. So in this video, I'm focusing on Chromatics 3.0. So that is for water. So the next part of our video is Pebble. This is the Pebble Fuel Cell. The fuel cell is a uh, Jujubee's insulated uh, bag. It is good to carry bottles, lunch, snacks. Uh, the shape and size are so versatile, I use them as packing cubes in different Jujubee bags. It is insulated, padded. See, this is the fuel cell, you know, especially after several uses. Um, before I did this video, I had this uh, packed up full. So as you can see, like it is empty, but it retains its shape uh, because I think because of the insulation inside, it uh, it stands up on its own like that, um, it's shaped like a bucket. Uh, the opening is up over here. Uh, again, this is the pebble fuel cell. There were many questions on the color. I will show you some different comparisons with other Jujube prints in a bit. Uh, so this is the fuel cell. It has a handle up here with a lobster clip up here you can open it up like this attach it to the stroller and then close it up uh, so that's how it is and then the logo plate is up here it is in the gorgeous uh rose gold new jujube rose gold so this is the pebble fuel cell so here is the opening we will see again the golden champagne lining so there's the inside of the fuel cell. There it is. There's the gold lining. Very nice. There's also this uh, zipper pocket up here. You can put, if you're using this as a snack bag, you can put utensils in here, uh, things like that, like little items that you 
don't want to uh, get lost in uh, the fuel cell. I mean, it's not that big anyways, but it is, it's actually a very, very decent size. I use it, like I said, I use it also as a packing cube. So that is the fuel cell. Uh, so it fits in, it fits in different Jujube bags. It fits in the Be Prepared, it fits in the Be Right Back, the Zealous, the BFF. It also fits in the Super B. It fits in the B Pack. It also fits in the Midi. If uh, I mean, it does take up most of the space um, in the smaller backpacks. Uh, you can also take it like this, attach it to the stroller, like I mentioned earlier. So it's very, very useful. I also use it as packing cubes in the Jujube Superstar and the Jujube Starlet. Those are the non-structured, um, the duffel bags of Jujube. And if I put a lot of uh, fuel cells side by side, they help the bag stand up and give it structure and also act as packing cubes. So I've used it a lot for travel uh, to separate toiletries from supplies from snacks and things like that so it's one of my favorite jujube uh, accessory style so that is the fuel cell now let's discuss how gray is the gray on pebble so like i said earlier the chromatics 3.0 line is solid colors the colors they shift they change tone and hue a little bit in different lighting if it's out in the sun, the sunlight gives warm light, so it gives a warmer tone to the bags. If it is indoors, um, you know, cooler tone. So to me, gray is like a warm light gray. It's a warm light gray. So I gathered uh, different jujube prints over here that are that have gray in them to compare with uh, the gray on pebble. Uh, so let's start first with, uh, let's see, dot, dot, dot. So see how dot, dot, dot is darker? And here you can kind of see the warmer tone of light gray on Pebble. So that is uh, dot, dot, dot. I also have Black Beauty. So Black Beauty is kind of like cooler tone uh, light gray. So... Pebble is warm gray. And uh, here is gray matter. So this is like a cool dark gray too. There, okay, that's, so that's the color comparison. I also have black matrix. Another cool gray compared to the warm light gray that I see uh, on uh, Pebble. And then here is uh, black petals. So it's darker, so you see how light um, the gray is on a pebble. And uh, I will compare it to a black and white bag. So here is First Lady. The white here is like a true white for me. So there were comments that pebble is so close to linen. Linen is the other color in the chromatics line. It is an off-white, like cream color. So here you can see that gray, uh, the difference of gray and white and black. So that's there. And uh, here is here is Pebble with Enchanted Garden. They actually look, they actually coordinate really well. So Enchanted Garden has kind of like a warm, like grayish beige background. So the colors are really close. So the so here's one of the closest um, matches in color from my collection, Enchanted Garden. And I also think it closely matches Tweeting Pretty or Pretty Tweet. Very close, uh, great colors. Um, so here it is, very close. So I think it's closer with uh, Enchanted, well, what's kind of in between. So here it is. Here is the two... Okay, so they're not exact, but they're close in. So they're close in the color tone of the gray. Here's Enchanted Garden. Okay, so here you can kind of see that Enchanted Garden is a little more beigey gray. And then here is the another one. This is Hidden Camel. So Hidden Camel has some grays. So 
the see see this gray on hidden camel over here so it kind of coordinates with the gray on pebble and i also have cozy knit so cozy knit is more white with some gray so the grays are also close so there so that is for um uh, the fuel cell uh let me compare it to some other prints uh for pebble so here's olive juice there is a question uh if olive juice looks good with pebble they do olive juice has uh, some colors that coordinate with pebble and uh, i also have here some uh, rose collection so this is rose colored glass it has some gray on it and i think the grays match the grays on rose colored grass glass match with uh pebble so here it is and i also have uh this is a sakura swirl the grays are a little different so as you can see and this is a uh, whimsical uh whisper there so and also this is rose garden i think that was uh there was it really looks good too with with pebble and also, um, it will look good with any of the Toki prints. Uh, good. Um, here it is with um, Siamo. So pretty much any, you know, any print. Here it is with Fantasy Paradise. So this is uh, Sushi Cars. Yeah, so it will look great. It will look great. And lastly, um, again, uh, I'm going to show you a sneak peek of Hawaii Carnival, the new Tokidoki Jujube collaboration print. It also looks good with Pebble. Looks good with all three colors, actually. And uh, so that is it for Pebble. So let's go over to uh, show linen. So this is the Jujube B Dapper in the new Chromatics 3.0 colorway in linen. So it is an off-white cream color. Uh, I think this is the first uh, bee dapper in uh, the Chromatics collection of Juju B. Uh, it also uh, has it also has the soft uh, fabric. So see, it is very soft. It is uh, it's not as stiff as the fabric uh, the original Juju B fabric. Uh, it has metal zippers. So here it is. I will unzip. I will zip. Uh, to me, they are pretty smooth. Uh, so, and I love that they are um, they are gold. They are rose gold. So they add a little bling and interest to uh, the color of you know the color on the bag. Here is the inside. It is a golden champagne. Uh, it's a gold uh, satin gold lining, uh, just like uh, pebble and uh, and water. And uh, so the dapper is a pouch. It's a jujube pouch. It is great to uh, pack bulky items. Um, I would use it to pack um, a nursing cover or I would use it to pack um, jackets, like just in case, like maybe sweaters or like a cardigan for my daughter. It fits several sets of clothes inside. It's also good as a snack bag, toiletry bag. A lot of uh, cloth diapering moms swear by it because it fits so many bulky cloth diapers. And uh, it's also great as a packing cube. They fit in the bags like this and um, it's easy to organize your stuff um, by bee dapper for each kid. So you could have like one bee dapper for each kid like uh, lined up in the bag. Um, it's it's a really really great size and shape. So that is the B dapper in uh, in linen. So how off white or cream colored is linen? So here's linen. I will show you, an, you know, the black and white print, the same print first lady that has to me a true white and a black. So here's the difference. You can see. You can see the difference so this is cream and this is black and white so you can clearly see the difference of the cream and the black and the white uh here it is compared to pebble we'll do a close-up 
So you can clearly see there's a difference in color. This is cream and this is light gray. And then um, here it is with Enchanted Garden. I think the colors coordinate. This is more like creamy and this is more like, um, like a grayish beige, like pale background. So you can see there's like a little difference in, especially in the, in the zipper tape and the color. So that is Enchanted Garden. I think, I think linen looks really good with Hidden Camel. This is, I think, one of the best combinations in terms of uh, Jujube prints. So this is Hidden Camel that has uh, neutral colors and this is uh, linen. And uh, it also looks good with rose-colored glass, just like, um, so here is the cream on rose-colored glass. I think the colors, um, they match with, uh, with linen, so that's on rose-colored glass. And people were asking how it looks with Cozy Knit. So Cozy Knit is more like a cooler tone. So here's, here's cream and then Cozy Knit has like white and gray. So you can see the color difference in this. I'm not saying that they match, but they could, it could work, but the color tones are different. Just to give you an idea of how cream is the, how, you know, how, how off-white is the off-white on, uh, on linen. So that's there. And then it looks pretty, pretty great with a lot of the black and white prints. So this is Queen Bee. Looks good with, I mean, because the, the white on the writing, on the on the words on Queen Bee are white, but the black and whites look great with, with linen. Uh, here is Queen's Court. Looks great. Queen's Court also looks good with water and pebble. Pretty much all the black and white prints look great with all three chromatics colors. So here it is. And then I have here Donatella Sweet Shop. It looks really good with linen. Oh, those look, those colors look perfect together. Um, here is, uh, let's do Rose Garden again. I think it looks great with linen too. Here's Rose Garden. And um, I also have here, one second, I also have here um, Butterfly Forest. So there is a neutral colored butterfly in Butterfly Forest. So it coordinates well with linen also. Um, pretty much any, anything, any print goes with, uh, with linen. So this is, um, here's Unikiki 2.0 again. Looks great with linen. I think any print goes with linen. This is Team Toki. This is Team Toki. And then this is Sushi Cars. I also have Fantasy Paradise. So it looks good. And Siamo. 2.0 and this is uh, Toki Pops. Anything looks good with uh, with linen. I also have some, let's see, TikTok. TikTok with linen. Let's go back and show you Hello Kitty Kimono. I think Hello Kitty Kimono has, is, uh, let's see, there are, it's, it's very pastel, so it looks good with, with linen also. And here is Party in the Sky. Looks good. I think it looks good with, with that. Here it is. Uh, Hello Friends. And here is uh, Lucky Stars. I think pretty much anything looks good with, with, uh, with linen. That's in stripes. So here you can see that the, the white, okay, hold on. The white on That's in Stripes, how, how different it is from the it's, it's a slight difference, but um, it's, it, this is big, it's clearly cream. And then here is uh, Peekaboo. So there. So pretty much anything will go with, uh, with linens. So next I will show you the new Jujube woven strap in uh, the Chromatics uh, 3.0 uh, line. So it has colors that coordinate with all three colorways in uh, the Chromatics uh, 3.0 line. So here it is with linen, here it is with uh, pebble, and here it is with water. So it looks really great. The hardware is also uh, rose gold. It has, so it is kind of different from, it is different from uh, the, 
first woven straps in the Chromatics 2.0 line that were released. So I'll I'll show you that really quickly. So this is uh, so this is how the the straps look. So they have this uh, little rivets here, so cute. There's a star rivet. This is a um, this is a slider to adjust uh, the length so that you can wear cro you can wear your bags crossbody. You can attach it to your BFF like this by the D rings. So instead of using the messenger strap of the BFF, so you can use this uh, woven strap. You can also attach it to um, the B light or the Super B, and um, you can also attach it to a mini BFF. So you can attach it to your other bags as well. So the 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 material is nice and thick. It's uh, this new woven strap material. Uh, here is a chromatics. Uh, 2.0 strap just to give just to show you uh, the difference so here the the swivel clips are kind of different so here it is and then so this is how it looks so the original woven straps in chromatics 2.0 had this little buckle here so i just wanted to show that so this one doesn't have that buckle over here so there so the only big difference i guess would be the swivel clips like this the hardware over here the style of um this part of the strap and also uh the hardware so there okay so that is for the strap and next i wanted to show you how it looks with other the previous chromatics colors here they are so here is teal lagoon I think it'll mix and match. Honestly, if you have all the other colors, it'll mix and match as well. This is Teal Lagoon. This is Blush. Gorgeous. Look at Blush with linen. It's so pretty. Here is Blush with uh, Pebble, and here's Blush with, uh, with Water. So pretty. That's so pretty. And then here is Tibetan Red. I guess it's not my favorite with... Um, with the with water but it looks great with linen and it also looks great with pebble and here is olive i think it works with linen and pebble and also water it depends on which prints you mix and match with and here is golden amber golden amber with linen golden amber with um with pebble and golden amber with uh water so um that was it I hope that you liked my video and found it helpful. Uh, this Chromatics 3.0 line is releasing in January 19, 2020. I received these bags as part of the Juju B Creative Crew. Thank you so much to Juju B for giving me the opportunity to feature the bags before they're released. Uh, so if you like my video, please hit like. If you have questions, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to see more Juju B content, uh, I have a lot of photos with uh, packing ideas, on the body uh, pictures, uh, mix and match uh, on my Instagram at Ria Supermama. So I will uh, link all those down below. Again, thank you very much for watching. Till the next time. Bye-bye.